For the following problem, we're going to work on a geometry application problem. It reads, the length of the longer leg of a right triangle is 14 feet longer than the length of the shorter leg, x. <clears throat> the hypotenuse is 6 feet longer than twice the length of the shorter leg. Find the dimensions of the triangle. Okay, so first things first. I notice that we're talking about a right triangle. So let's get ourselves a picture here, and let's go ahead and draw out what's happening. So we have a right triangle, and it says the length of the longer leg, which is this side right over here, is 14 feet longer than the length of the shorter leg. And it says the shorter leg is X. So this short side over here, I'm gonna go ahead and label it X. It says this longer side, is 14 feet longer than the shorter side. So the shorter side is x, it's 14 feet more than that. So if I want 14 feet more than x, that means I have x and I want to add 14 to it. So that means the longer side has to be x plus 14. And then it says the hypotenuse, which is always your diagonal side, is 6 feet longer than twice the width of the shorter leg. So six feet longer than twice that width. So if I want twice the shorter side, that means I want to double it. I'm going to multiply it by two. So that's two X. But it said not only do I want twice the length of it, I want it to be six feet longer than twice the width. So that means I'm going to take twice the width, plus I'm going to add six to it. So this gives us our three sides. This is a very important part of this problem, is being able to read this and being able to translate it into actual expressions. If you can't figure out these three sides or if you mark them down wrong, all the work that you do after this point is gonna be wrong. So be very careful with reading the problem and understanding how to translate it into numbers and letters, okay? So, it wants us to find the dimensions of the triangle, which means it wants us to find the length of all three sides. So it's not asking for an area. It's not asking for a total perimeter or anything like that. It just wants to know the dimensions. So that means we can't use our area problem or our area formula, area is equal to one half base times height. Um, the only formula that I can think of to use this one, since we're talking about a right triangle, is Pythagorean's theorem. Pythagorean's theorem reads a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. So we know all three sides essentially of our triangle. So we're gonna take our three sides, we're gonna plug it into this formula, solve, figure out what x is, and that's gonna allow us to be able to plug back in here and figure out the individual sides. So I'm gonna say that the short side is a, this side over here is B. Again, when it comes to A and B, it's the legs of your triangle. So I could have said A or B or A or B like that. It doesn't matter. Your hypotenuse is always C, though. All right, so I'm going to say that A is X. So that means we have X squared plus B squared, where B is X plus 14, is equal to C squared. So that's 2X plus 6. Now, there's going to be a lot of algebra with the next couple of steps here, a lot of multiplying and uh simplifying and things like that. So let's take this one step at a time. Let's drop down that x squared while we focus on multiplying this x plus 14 squared. Because right? we have x plus 14 squared, we actually need to square this out. Remember that's the same thing as saying x plus 14 times x plus 14. When we multiply this together, we get x squared plus 28x plus 196 when you foil that out. And then that's going to equal to what we get when we do 2x plus 6 squared, which is 2x plus 6 times 2x plus 6. Uh, when we multiply that out, we get 4x squared plus 24x plus 36. All right, so all you have to do is FOIL. First times first, outside, inside, and last. I'm going to clean up the left-hand side a little bit here. We have like terms. We have this x squared plus x squared, which is 2x squared. And I believe that was the only like terms that we had in this problem. But as you can see, we're left with a lot of terms here. And we still need to do some cleanup. I also see that I have these quadratic terms here. So they're squared. So I know I'm working with a quadratic formula. Because of that, 
That tells me I need to move everything over to one side of this equation so it could be set equal to zero so we can try and factor and solve. So I'm going to subtract the 2x squared to both sides. I'm going to subtract the 28 to both sides. And then I'm going to subtract the 196 to both sides. So that cancels on the left-hand side. And on the right-hand side, let's see, 4x squared minus 2x squared is 2x squared. 24x minus 28x gives us a negative 4x. And 36 minus 196, I believe, is a negative 160. Okay, so at this point here, we need to try and factor and solve this. So let me see if I have room over here. I'm going to move this problem here so that we can try and factor this. If we're trying to factor this, the first thing I notice is that each one of these terms is an even number. And because of that, that means that we have a 2 in common that we can just go ahead and divide out, which is going to give us 0 is equal to 2 over 2 cancels, leaving us with x squared. 4 over 2 gives us a negative 2 there. And the minus 160 divided by 2 gives us a minus 80. So that we can go ahead and factor this. When we factor this, looking at the x squared, we know that's x times x. Looking at 80, we're looking for what multiplies to get 80 or adds or subtracts to get 2. That's going to be an 8 and a 10. The 10 needs to be negative. The 8 is positive. And that means that we're going to use the zero factor property, which tells us that we can take each one of our factors here, set them each equal to 0, and solve. So we're going to get x is equal to negative 8 and x is equal to 10. An important thing to remember here is we're working an actual geometry problem. Okay, so these numbers actually signify something in the real world. We're talking about lengths. So we're talking about, what does it say, feet here. So we're looking at negative 8 feet or 10 feet. There's no such thing as negative 8 feet. And anytime you get a negative answer in these kind of problems, you're automatically going to throw it out because we can't use it. But the x is equal to 10, we're definitely going to use that. So that's what our x actually equals. And x happened to be the short side right over here. So we know that the short side is equal to 10, right? So this is our short side. Our long side is x plus 14. Now, we know that x is 10. So if we do 10 plus 14, that means the long side has to be 28 feet. That means we can do the same thing with our hypotenuse here. We can plug in 10 for x simplify this and figure out what our hypotenuse is. 2 times 10 is 20, and 20 plus 6 is equal to 26. So we have 26 feet, 28 feet, and 10 feet for our three sides of our triangle. <coughs> Excuse me, which means we found the dimensions of the triangle, which means that's it for this problem.